exclusive contract novel from Falu Novel Network. Navigation. Start by writing fruit, anyone can write it. Through the world of pirates, Xiaoya became a writer who ate the fruit of Superman's cavalry. Plants, clouds, earth, ships, machinery, sea kings, humans he can write it all. In addition to being able to control mounts to fight side by side, there are also various powerful and interesting buff enhancements. 10 times strength, a hundred times recovery, a thousand times luck, a thousand times talent when the Knights of Xiaoya were established, they were destined to shake the sea. Karina. Idiot, only allowed to ride me today. Nami. Me, double ponytails. Robin. Be gentle, I'm sensitive. Bai Xing, Lord Xiaoya, don't bully Bai Xing anymore. Hancock. Such a position. Oh. The five old stars looked at the void throne with a shocked expression on their faces and said, you have died young, Lord I.M.M. has been written. Falu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. 001, Knights and Thieves You are listening at NovelFull.audio Xiaoya, it's so hard, writing makes me feel so uncomfortable, hmm dot. Karina, I'm developing right now. It's normal to be hard. Stupid Xiaoya, if you hadn't pointed in the wrong direction, we might have found the Rijiao pirates long ago. What if they ran away now? If you can't get the treasure, you have to take full responsibility. I don't want to, but sailing is too difficult to learn. Dot. In the year 1516 of the Haiyuan calendar, in the East China Sea, Kue Island, in early winter. The street was covered in a thin layer of white snow, although it was empty, one could see a row of footprints increasing step by step, and one could still hear a man and a woman arguing. Two voices, a row of footprints, no one can be seen. It has to be said that this scene is still somewhat eerie actually. The protagonist of the female voice comes from a 14.year.old girl named Karina. Karina is a character from the theatrical version of Golden City, with a sweet singing voice, flexible mind, and shrewd stealing skills. In the plot, she has a deep intersection with the thief Kat Nami and is nicknamed Strange Thief. And the identity of the male voice host is even more unique, he is named Xiaoya, a 14.year.old traveler. Two years ago, he traveled to the world of pirates and met Karina, who was also an orphan in the East China Sea. He then formed a group called Knights and Thieves and made a living by stealing and robbing pirates on the sea. It is worth mentioning that at the beginning of her journey, Xiaoya was a rider who had eaten the fruit of Superman-style cavalry. In the latest episode of the plot of Egghead Island in the original work, the cavalry fruit appears. The diner is Rear Admiral Brewgrass, and the old lady uses her abilities to ride the peacekeeper and control the peacekeeper to shoot lasers at Pony. Besides, there is not much ability to perform, and the plot does not specify whether one can ride a person. But this is not important. What's important is that Xiaoya has already ridden it. Yes. In one sentence, Xiaoya's ability can be summarized as. Anyone can ride. In theory, he can ride the sky, the ground, the air, the white star, the empress, and the IME. And control them to fight for themselves. Of course the premise is that the other party is willing to be ridden, or Xiaoya can surrender with absolute strength. Otherwise, who would be willing to be ridden? Xiaoya is a traveler, although he doesn't have a system, he also has golden fingers. Yes, his riding fruit has mutated. Not only does it eliminate side effects it also has an additional bug level capability. This ability is a buff gain. Simply divided into two parts. 1. The cavalry fruit will randomly refresh a temporary riding buff with special abilities. What ability it has, how long it can be used, and when it will refresh depends entirely on luck. 2. When Xiaoya signs a riding contract with humans, she will receive a permanent riding buff, 
which can be considered as permanently obtaining a passive skill. For example, now. Xiaoya has a countdown buff on her head. Invisibility. In riding mode, the capable person and mount will gain invisibility, with a remaining time of 2 days, 15 hours, 34 minutes, and 46 seconds. A safe temporary version of Superman series. Transparent fruit. Since it has been refreshed to an invisible skill, it is necessary to make reasonable use of it. Coincidentally, Karina recently obtained intelligence that the Rijiao pirates stationed on Kuwe Island had made a considerable windfall. Well, the two of them have a great interest in playing and are ready to come and collect the vegetables. To avoid startling the snake, Xiaoya and Karina used mount form when landing on K Island, and together they retreated into invisibility. This is also the fundamental reason why the two of them were walking on the street but could only hear their voices without seeing each other. A few minutes later, Xiaoya rode Karina into the headquarters of the Rijiao pirates. Fool, if it weren't for me sticking to this direction, we would have almost gone wrong again. Fortunately, I'm smart enough to persevere to the end. Humph. Karina hammered Xiaoya's thigh, her mouth pouting to get praise. Xiaoya tugged at Karina's hair. Keep it down, others can't see it, but they can hear it. A few bonfires were burning in the open space not far away, and the air was filled with the aroma of roasted meat. More than a dozen pirates were eating meat and drinking alcohol in large gulfs. I had no idea that two people had already arrived by their side. In the center of the station, there sat a strong man who was two meters tall. He was wearing a trendy captain's uniform, and the pirate hat on his head was also painted with the logo of their pirate group. This person is the captain of the Rijiao pirates, Dog Eye Myhawk. Next to the captain's seat, a 14-year-old girl with short orange hair was confidently raising her glass. Captain Dog Eye, the wine on Kuwe Island is amazing. Let's have another drink. I'll do it first. Nami lifted her glass and drank it all in one gulp. Dog Eye Myhawk tilted his mouth and smiled, thanks to Nami's intervention this time we didn't waste a single bullet. With just one shell, we got that treasure map. Nami not only looks cute, but also has a deep tolerance for alcohol in my heart. If it weren't for you being a little younger, I would have wanted to elevate you to Captain's wife. Quack quack quack. Ha ha ha, Captain, you're so humorous. Celebrating the Captain's discovery of the treasure, let's drink to Nami's joining together. In theory, a girl named Nami falls into the hands of a group of ferocious pirates, and her fate is either to become a laborer, or to become a personal plaything for the captain, or to become a toy for all the pirates to vent their fire together, or to be sold as a slave. However, judging from this situation, now Nami seems to be a member of the Rijiao pirates. Of course. Nami's ability to enter the pirate group and gain their recognition was just the first step in the plan. Her real goal was to intoxicate all the pirates and steal their treasures. That so dot called treasure map is just a part of the strategy. Nami just casually drew with her talent for drawing nautical charts. They haven't made it old, it seems that the Rijiao pirates are not very smart. At this moment, seeing that everyone was already a bit drunk, Nami's mouth curved with a cunning smile. Cheers, come again. Xiaoya passed by and saw the girl with orange hair, and her eyes lit up instantly. Nami. I never expected to meet you here. In fact. 99% of the pirate world is covered by sea, and the importance of navigators is self-evident. Sailing cannot be without a navigator, just like a horse cannot be without a knight. Xiaoya and Karina suffered a lot during their voyage due to the lack of sailors. And Nami is the top navigator in the original work, even the mermaids and dragons who roam freely in the sea, and even the thief lion Shirji who navigates in the air, are envious of Nami's navigation skills. So, navigators are very important. More importantly. For Xiaoya Nami is not only an excellent navigator, but also capable of. Riding. 002, Nami, do you want me to ride you? 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. MMM. My navigator is none other than her. Karina and Nami will both need to have long hair and double ponytails to match my driving skills in the future. Let's collect the treasure for now, Karina. Turn around quickly, let's head west all the way. Siaya tightened her legs, pinched Karina's neck, and then covered the girl's warm forehead with one hand and her pink ears with the other, swaggering past the pirates one by one. This scene is similar to the scene of Yukiwara Gemini Nunu and Willem going to gank. My neck is so itchy. Humph. This fool has grown hair on his legs. I'll arrange hair removal cream for him later. Karina roast in her heart, and angrily twisted a fried dough twists on Xia Ye's thigh. Xia Ye grinned in pain. If it weren't for all the pirates around him, his feet would have kicked the peak and shouted loudly. Soon. The two people who were making noise and walking smoothly entered the treasure room of the Rijiao pirates and packed all the treasures. And just as they turned around and prepared to leave, a figure suddenly appeared and collided with the two of them. Ah, it hurts, it hurts. How do you look at the road, Xiaoya idiot? We hit a wall. Xiaoya and Karina didn't expect someone to suddenly come in and fall to the ground, scratching their heads one after another. After separation, the invisible buff effect also disappeared. Hey! What did I hit? Nami's forehead was spinning with golden little stars. The scattered treasure made her instantly clear-headed. Hello, hello. Who are you? Bastards. Are you trying to steal my treasure? Meanwhile, outside the treasure trove, a pirate was frantically shaking the drunken captain and said, Boss. Dog-eyed Mihawk boss. We made a big mistake. I just learned from other pirate groups that our newly joined sailor is that infamous little thief cat. Dog-eyed Mihawk's eyes were floating and his mouth was a bit awkward. Oh. Don't shake, I feel nauseous. What did you just say? Little. What cat? Little thief cat. Nami is the little thief cat who specifically uses treasure maps to join various pirate groups and greedily steals all the treasures. Damn it. Dare to snatch me. Dog-eyed Myhawk woke up with a clever expression. I'm just hanging out for nothing. Little ones, come with me to the treasure trove immediately, I'll kill her. In the treasure trove, the air is quiet. Although Nami is only 14 years old, in order to redeem the village from the dragon pirates, she started her thief career in the East China Sea early on and gained a lot of knowledge. After a brief moment of confusion, she already understood that she had met a colleague. Damn it. I drink wine, I give strength, and of course, the treasure belongs to me alone. It's so close, so close. I almost got intercepted by someone. Nami's face changed and she instantly became very calm. She cunningly smiled and warned the two of them, Hey, hey, I can tell at a glance that you are thieves. Unfortunately, this is my territory. How dare you delude yourself into stealing my and Captain Dogai's treasure. If you're caught, you'll be completely dismembered. Do you know that there are the most vicious pirates outside? However. Nami's words changed. If you leave now, I won't call anyone. Let's go quickly. Nami, who was also here to steal, acted as if she had caught a thief at home, but also showed a very generous demeanor. Xiaoya also burst into laughter and looked at Nami, who was already a beautiful woman but had not grown up, and asked, Hey, do you want me to ride you? Riding what? Nami asked. Ride on you. What kind of tiger wolf words are you? Facing the furious Nami, Xiaoya helplessly spread her hand and said, Don't worry about her, let's continue, pack and take it away. Kalina didn't delay either, she quickly collected the treasure again. In Nami's stunned state, Xiaoya leaped up to Karina's back. Continuing, hey. No gone. At this moment, Nami felt her worldview had been refreshed. What situation is it? Disappeared out of thin air. 
Nami's mind froze, but instinctively she grabbed a soft arm with a small hand. He he, don't want to leave. Let go of me. Fool, the invisible Karina shouted. Although Nami is very afraid of supernatural events. But if someone dares to steal the treasure in front of them, even if the other person is a devil, they must stand up and break their wrists. So she firmly held on to Karina's arm. You can't leave. You must leave my treasure behind. Bang. While Nami and Karina were wrestling, the door of the treasure trove was violently kicked open, and a group of pirates surrounded the door, making it impassable. Nami, you really disappoint me, hiccup dot. Don't you want to live anymore? How dare you think about my treasure? The leading Myhawk angrily shouted in dissatisfaction. Captain Dog Eye, you misunderstood me. I heard some movement in the treasure trove and came in to take a look, but you also saw that the treasure had been stolen. Look, I don't have any gold or silver treasures in my hands. Really, really nothing. Nami decisively released Karina, spread out her palm to prove her innocence, and then pointed outward. I saw with my own eyes that the thief had already fled in that direction. Captain Dog Eye, let's chase after you quickly. Compared to the treasure in the hands of ferocious pirates, Nami prefers the treasure to be obtained by those in need. Although it's a bit regrettable, let's forget it. Just consider it as fulfilling them now that the treasure has disappeared and there is no evidence, I believe the Rijau pirates cannot do anything to me. Stealing the treasure failed, we can only find an opportunity to escape. The frog at the bottom of the well is croaking. Dog-eyed Myhawk frowned, his anger already hanging on his face. Ignorance, who can run away from me? I am a great pirate with a bounty of over nine million bailey. Brooklyn Joseph Mihawk, do you think I don't know your identity as a little thief cat? I'm just drinking with you to accompany your performance and relieve the boredom of life. I really thought I wanted you to join the pirate group. Tell me quickly, where did you hide the treasure, otherwise I will chop you into pieces. Myhawk is striving to uphold his dignity as a captain and refuses to admit that he was deceived by Nami. He believed that Nami had hidden the treasure. Several pirate subordinates work together to surround Nami, either with a fierce expression or a murderous expression on her face. Oh no, they found out the identity of my little thief cat. It's really over now. At this moment, Nami felt a bit desperate and hurriedly waved her hand weakly, explaining, misunderstanding, everyone. It's really a misunderstanding. You're doomed, little thief cat. Some pirates have already pulled out their muskets and aimed at them. Faced with this group of sea pirates licking blood with their swords, 14. Year. Old Nami's eyes were filled with fear and her whole body was trembling. The pirates have already made way for the door. Those two should have taken the opportunity to take away all the treasures, right? Team up with others to steal and betray teammates when encountering problems. Nami has experienced such things many times already. She had already decided not to trust others anymore. Although she doesn't have much interaction with those two people, in Nami's heart, Siaya and Karina are actually no different from other thieves. Nowadays, the most valuable treasure has been taken away, and they cannot come back to save themselves. I no longer have bargaining chips to negotiate. Am I going to die? The figures of the villagers and sisters in Kekiaxi village flashed through Nami's mind. If it weren't for a glimmer of faith supporting it, I would probably have collapsed to the ground. Dead or ridden by me? How would you choose? Just as Nami was in despair, a warm airflow swept through her ears. 003, Cavalry Fruit Riding Form, Explosive Combat Power You are listening at Novel Full Audio. How would you choose? Nami heard a subtle voice, as if air was speaking in her ear. It's the voice of that young man. Behind me. Why don't they leave? Nami instinctively felt a bit angry. She didn't understand that even at this moment, the boy was still thinking of riding her. Hello. Whether to ride or not, the key is not what this age group should think about. Over here. 
Dog Eye Mikhawk clearly lost patience and pulled out a large knife to chop towards Nami. Die for me. Nami tightly closed her eyes, hugged her head as if she were destined, and cried out, You guys go. But in response to her, there was a silence, and the sound inside the treasure trove seemed to freeze. When Nami tried to open her eyes, she found that her arm inexplicably lifted up, and her right hand tightly grasped the big knife that Mihawk had chopped down, but the blade could not move forward. This. Take the blade with bare hands. Isn't it? When did I become so powerful? At the same time. Nami didn't know when someone was sitting on her shoulder, grabbing her hair. That person's weight is almost equivalent to a scarf. Curious. But the feeling of being ridden is real. Everything happened between lightning and flint, no one could have predicted. At this moment, Syaya, Nami, and Karina all appeared. It is worth mentioning that having traveled for so long, Syaya's riding fruit has already refreshed many temporary buffs, which is also his reliance for becoming stronger. One of them is the temporary absorb buff. During the period of obtaining the draw buff, Syaya and Karina will reside on an island full of fierce beasts. He will start surrendering from a sheep and eventually subdue the tiger of the island king as a mount. Syaya will absorb the power, physique, and combat skills of the mount. He also encountered situations of naval and pirate battles, where the dying wounded had combat skills, some were still experts, but lost their resistance, which was naturally the target of Xiaoya's acquisition. With accumulation, Xiaoya's physique and combat skills have reached a certain level. After Karina became Xiaoya's riding companion, he also got a permanent buff. 10x gain. When in riding mode, Xiaoya's strength sad face Xiaoya plus mount, x10. In the East China Sea, Xiaoya is already very strong alone, let alone in a tenfold increase in riding form. Xiaoya has such a bottom card. Facing the pirates in the East China Sea, he can handle them as he pleases. For example, in the current Rizhao pirates, even though Nami's strength is zero, Xiaoya's own strength is x10 and can be eliminated with just one move. Why use stealing when you are so strong? Instead of grabbing. Isn't this a waste of time, a waste of facial expressions? But after all, Xiaoya and Karina are thieves. Since they have obtained an invisible buff, the two of them are like playing a game and getting a limited time item. They come here at a certain time to complete a task, and the invisible person should have characteristics such as sleazy and peeping, in order to have a sense of excitement. To put it bluntly, this is a seasoning for the dull sailing life of the two. There's really no need to fight and kill every day. Eating vegetarian food occasionally is also very stylish. On this side, facing Nami's sudden outburst, Mihek's mouth twisted in fear and said, Who? Quack. He had just woken up from a drunken state, so when faced with anything, subconsciously he would think he was experiencing dizziness. Dog-eyed Mihawk rubbed his eyes. It was only then that a purple-haired girl of the same age as Nami appeared in the treasure trove. Unfortunately. Mihawk was suddenly somewhat disappointed, as he preferred mature women over young ones. Bastard, so you have an accomplice. Looking at Xiaoya on Nami's body, Mikhak suddenly smiled again and said, Hey, hey, smelly little devil, you are putting away this overlapping man. Good posture. I thought it was something. How dare you scare me. I'll kill you. Wow. Without any hesitation, Mihak unleashed his power and wanted to wield his sword to kill all three on the spot. However, the scene of blood blooming did not appear. Only Mikhak's forehead was sweating cold surprised to find that his knife could not be pulled out of Nami's hand. What level of power is this? When did Nami become so strong? Impossible. It's absolutely impossible for her. I am the strongest member of the entire pirate group. Under the force of Nami's palm, the sharp blade shattered directly. Ping pong. Xiaoya looked at the group of stunned pirates, grabbed Nami's hair and pulled it, 
just like holding the steering wheel while driving or using the controller to play games and control characters. The next second, Nami rushed out with a thunderous force, throwing a straight punch. Mihawk's chest immediately sank, and a large mouthful of blood gushed out of his mouth like a fountain, directly embedded in the wall. Bru bru. Dog-eyed Mihawk's nasal cavity was bubbling with blood, and after a few puffs, he couldn't breathe. Next second. Nami's figure moved again, and in a few flashes, countless fists landed on other pirates. Ah ah ah. The powerful impact is like a dense bullet. Let this group of pirates, who can only be arrogant and domineering in the East China Sea, let out mournful cries. In the face of absolute power. The members of the Rijiao pirates have no room for struggle. Until the pirates all fell to the ground. The screams slowly stopped before they completely came to an end. Did he control me to do all these things? No, he's so amazing. My hand doesn't hurt at all. It's amazing. Nami looked at her hand taking the blade, her face incredulous. Xia Yet jumped off Nami and transformed back into a handsome young man. Karina kindly stepped forward, holding her arms and leaning her cheek against his shoulder. Hello. My peers. Karina smiled. I should have been saved. Since they chose to appear, they shouldn't hurt me anymore. Nami's emotions relaxed a bit, and an uncontrollable idea popped up in her mind. If you spend money to hire them to deal with the dragon pirates can it be done? Is it feasible? Nami instinctively shook her head again, trying to calm her emotions and said, Ah, hello, I didn't expect you to be so amazing. If it weren't for your actions, I might have died. Thank you so much. Xiaoya's gaze shifted from those corpses to Nami's body, and her eyes narrowed slightly. I won't harm you. My name is Xiaoya, and I am a rider who has eaten the fruits of riding. I can ride on people and fight side by side. Would you like to join us as my mount? Devil fruit. I see. That's why he's so eager to ride me although Nami has never seen the secret treasure of the sea, she has heard of it to some extent. She knew it was a super treasure worth billions of dollars, and after eating it, she would gain unexpected superpowers. Nami has hoped countless times that she can pick up a demonic fruit while sailing. It's not about eating. But after selling it, you can have money to save your village. Do I still have a choice? Nami asked. 004, this woman is too stupid. You ride her, go. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Do I have a choice? Nami is quite wary of Xiaoya's strength. She kills so many people without blinking her eyes, maybe she is also a cruel pirate. So he asked very cautiously. Of course. Xiaoya smiled and said, we can go our separate ways, but if you choose that, you will definitely regret it. Silence. Nami remained silent for several seconds before sighing and making a decision, take all these treasures. I have important things to do and am not suitable for teaming up with anyone, so I cannot choose to be with you. I am truly sorry. In Nami's perception, the dragon is an invincible existence. Even if Xiaoya, who is close at hand, shows great strength, she cannot suppress the fear that comes from her distant hometown. In Nami's opinion, Xiaoya and Karina are both good people. I won't bring trouble to them anymore. Because of the dragon. A criminal pirate group that collects village name protection fees through violence, do you think they will give up the entire long-term meal ticket of Kekiaxi village for 100 million bailey? The fishman is hostile to humans, it is just a joke with you. A casual means can turn your efforts into nothing. If you believe it, it is too naive. Xiaoya tried to conquer Nami. You actually know about my past. Nami was momentarily stunned. She never expected that the young man in front of her would be so aware of her experience, as if he had experienced it firsthand. Meanwhile, Xiaoya's words also shattered her inner hope like glass. 
Nami has seen many deceitful things on the sea and has also considered whether the dragon is deceiving herself. The answer is 9 out of 10, yes. But. She has no other choice but to believe that she can spend money to redeem the village. Just like the only straw caught by a drowning person, even if they sink to the bottom, they will believe that the straw can save them. But now, with Xia Yip breaking through, everything has shattered. Karina patted Nami's shoulder and comforted her sweetly, Nami, actually Xia Yip told me about your experience. He said that the reason we stayed in the East China Sea was entirely because of you. We must find you, and then he will come forward to help you solve the problems in the village and take you out to sea. And today I finally found it. Kalina's mind is very shrewd. Since Siaya proposed to let Nami join, it indicates that she has decided to resolve her concerns for Nami. So, Karina just fabricated a past story based on their conversation. Actually, Siaya never mentioned Nami in front of Karina before. You said it, right. Karina turned with her elbow. Of course. Siaya nodded and comforted Karina's back. Without a doubt, this is praise. Karina smiled contentedly and looked at Nami, then said, So. Would you be willing to trust your partner once now? Karina is also very careful, and she really wants to keep Siaya for herself. But the cruel sea told her that Siaya needed more companions, and only by making good use of Siaya's abilities can everyone achieve happiness. Besides, Mihak and others rushed into the treasure trove, and Nami voluntarily released Karina's arm, allowing her to escape. Even intentionally pointing the wrong way to divert all the enemies. So, when Nami made this decision, she had already received Kalina's approval. Now that Siaya intends to include Nami as a partner, Karina will naturally add fuel to the situation. Hey! Are they specifically looking for me to go out to sea? Will you still help me solve the trouble in the village? Isn't it? But. Nami received too much information in a short period of time, her brain was paralyzed and unable to think. What are you talking about? Karina approached with a skeptical expression and said, Do you think you would rather believe in big bad guys like dragons? Nami was a bit stunned and said, Oh, oh, you big head. Stupid. Karina was speechless. Immediately, his temper rose and he turned to shout, Siaya. Don't waste time here. This woman is so stupid. You ride her, go. An hour later, a small boat floated on the blue sea, with three figures on it. Nami Wanwan never thought she would be ridden on a boat one day. Here, Siaya poured out a pile of treasures from the bag, almost filling the entire small boat. Treasures, many treasures. Kalina looked at the shimmering treasure, her eyes sparkling. Her small purple eyes transformed into the shape of Pele, shimmering with a golden light that was even more dazzling than sunlight. Value 12.32 million belials. Nami was still confused at first, and as soon as she saw the treasure, she counted the total value of this batch of treasures like an occupational disease. Let's get to know each other officially. My name is Karina. By the way, this is our captain, Siaya. Karina smiled cutely. My name is Nami, Nami quickly replied. Siaya, I think Nami has a natural talent for Bailey. How about we hand over the financial power to Nami? Karina keenly discovered that perhaps due to her experience, Nami had a certain obsession with money. If money can help Nami quickly integrate into the team, Karina would be happy to hand over the financial power. After all, she was not worried at all about Nami running away. No one can refuse Siaya. Siaya had no objection to this. Agree. From now on, all Bailey and the team will be entrusted to Nami. Hey. In that moment, Nami forgot her fear of the dragon and smiled awkwardly, waving her hand repeatedly to refuse, no way. I really can't. Cannot refuse. Siaya and Karina said almost simultaneously. Nami wants to cry without tears. No, it's not. 
aren't they afraid that I'll run away with the money? I won't be able to sleep with such a bunch of treasures around me. At this moment, Xiaoya suddenly asked, Karina, Nami, do you know that there is a Sixus island in the East China Sea? There is something in this world that makes people soar to the sky, and that is the legendary sea treasure, the devil fruit. Compared to great voyages, it is difficult to encounter devil's fruit in the East China Sea. As a member of the original party, Kashiaya knows the location of three very powerful unknown demon fruits. There is one in the East China Sea the natural system of Sixus Island. Burning Fruits Now it is 1516 in the Haiyuan calendar, and there is still one year left before Ace goes out to sea. There is a high chance that the burnt fruits will appear there early. And Xiaoya himself is a capable person who doesn't need to eat any more fruits. But both Kalina and Nami can eat it. Xiaoya can fight alongside mounts and enjoy a 10 times combat power bonus. If the mount eats roasted fruits when Xiaoya rode, she also had the ability to use flames, which was still 10 times more powerful. Therefore, as long as he can find the burnt fruit, even if he stays on the island for a year, he thinks it's quite worth it. Lexus Island I've never heard of this island before. The East China Sea is so large that there are at least tens of thousands of islands, but it would be difficult to have island names. I have no clue. Karina shook her head and answered. Nami was very confident in her navigation skills and expressed herself. I haven't heard of the island of Sixus either, but as long as there is a place marked on the map, no matter where in the world, I can find it. The closest town to us now is Tyrity Town, which can be reached in three hours. There is a shop selling nautical charts on Carrot Street there, and we may find clues. Nami, you're really great! Karina exclaimed in surprise. She exclaimed again, Siaya, you really have a good eye. 005, Nami's Reigns, Permanent Buff Gain. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Nami, your navigation skills are really great. By listening to Nami's very professional plan, Karina can tell that Nami has a wealth of sailing experience. With Nami's help, navigation will become easier. Okay. Then let's go to the town of Tyrity first, and then to the island of Sixus. Xiaoya nodded in agreement and said, after the journey to Sixus Island, we will go to Kekiaxi village. During this period, there will be no changes in Kekiaxi village. You can rest assured of this. Nami felt completely relieved and couldn't help but feel a little urge to cry. Xiaoya didn't forget to go to Koko West village. It's just that Sisi is more urgent in the past, we must find clues. Hmm. I got it. Are we leaving now? Captain. Nami said. Before that, we can first conclude a writing contract. Enter into a writing contract. In fact, Xiaoya's mounts are mainly divided into two types. One type is the temporary requisition of mounts. For example, if he violently surrenders to a sea king now, the sea king becomes his temporary mount and will become obedient. However, as long as he detaches from the Sea King's body, his connection with the Sea King will be blocked. If he wants to ride again, he needs to surrender again. To sum up, temporary mounts are violent surrender and temporary use. The characteristics are throwing and riding, violent driving, ruthless lifting, and not talking about emotions. The second type is contract mounts. Signing a contract requires 100% willingness from the other party, and cannot be forced under any circumstances. It is equivalent to signing a contract in black and white, without deception. Because the conditions are too strict, so far, only Karina has signed a writing contract with Xiaoya. If he chooses to enter into a writing contract with Nami now, it is equivalent to Nami dedicating all her loyalty. No matter when or whether Nami is stronger than Xiaoya in the future, Nami cannot refuse Xiaoya to ride her and control her. The good news is if Nami is successfully signed, Xiaoya will receive a permanent riding buff. This is what he is most looking forward to. Signing a riding contract. 
It looks so complicated. Nami murmured. It's very simple. Xiaoya extended a palm to stimulate her writing ability, and five cold blue spiritual flames sprouted from her fingertips. As long as we connect our fingers and wait quietly for the result, it's enough. Okay, I'll give it a try. Nami said. As Xiaoya and Nami's palms closed together, the five spiritual flames bypassed Xiaoya's fingers and were being absorbed by Nami's fingers. At this moment, Nami read a message. This information is like some kind of rule, which clearly tells Nami that after signing the writing contract, her life, behavior, and freedom will be completely controlled by Xiaoya. As long as Xiaoya is by his side, he is his invincible master. Of course. At this moment, Nami is also aware that as long as she has one idea, she can 100% withdraw from the ceremony. For Nami, this is simply a contract of permanent enslavement. It's like selling a contract the key is that she has the right to refuse herself. It can be imagined how much psychological preparation is needed to sign such a contract. The difficulty of signing is self.evident. However, faced with the hopeful gaze of Xiaoya and Karina, Nami's choice this time has no reason to believe. So she stopped thinking and lifted all her psychological defenses. Come on. Lin Yan entered her body, and Nami's eyelashes trembled slightly. She hummed softly, it's so comfortable. Done. Nami's reins have finally been taken. Xiaoya was very excited and rubbed Nami's head in her arms. After kneading, two short lines of buff names quickly appeared before his eyes. 10x gain buff. From Karina's reigns, 10 times gain. The strength of a person with the ability is equal to 10 times the sum of themselves and the mount they are riding, triggered while riding. 10 times lucky buff. From Nami's reigns, 10 times lucky. The lucky power of a person with abilities x10, triggered 24 hours a day. Permanently triggered 10 times more luck. Seeing this, Xiaoya felt a little excited in her heart. He didn't expect it. Nami brought him a lucky buff. Originally, luck is something that cannot be seen or touched. But past experience tells Xiaoya that he actually needs lucky values. Because he often refreshes temporary buffs. But those buffs, 90% of them are very weak Kuan's kind all of these are buffs that enhance sweetness, sleep quality, testosterone levels, increased chances of pure dreaming, fear of scalding during barbecue, rain avoidance, lightning protection during thunderstorms, increased hair length, and so on these buffs are both interesting and perverted. It can even be said that temporary buffs are the most interesting ability of riding fruit. But most of the time it's really useless. What needs luck to support like the previous invisible buff, it has already been counted as winning the jackpot. Now there is a 10 times increase in lucky buff. The probability of refreshing the powerful buff is high. It's not that permanent buffs can't be played, but temporary buffs are also very cost.effective. Say it again. Xiaoya still needs to go find the roasted fruits. Then we will know if luck is useful. Done, we can start now. Xiaoya was in a good mood and immediately said, we welcome Nami's joining. Lucky will favor us from now on. Okay. When we get to town, I'll go buy a lot of new clothes with Nami, and I'll help you buy them too, Xiaoya. Karina excitedly hugged Xiaoya. I just harvested over 10 million baileys, so I don't have to wander at sea anymore. With the addition of Nami, the problem of navigation has also been solved. Karina's mood at this moment is also quite beautiful. Xiaoya smiled and said, Ah. Uh -huh. Enjoy the flowers to your heart's content. Seeing the captain's decision to set sail, Nami immediately prepared to take action. Then I'll go raise the sails. We're going to the town of Tyrity. My sailing skills are also good. Karina quickly grabbed her hand and a hint of pride flashed around her mouth. No need, Xiaoya can ride a boat. MMM hee 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 hee. 
Upon hearing this, Nami was momentarily bewildered, with countless question marks popping up in her head. Ha! Riding. A boat. What does it mean? Karina smiled and said, you just need to tell us which direction to sail in. Okay, this way. Nami pointed out the direction, and Xiaoya immediately placed her palm on the hull, using her riding power. Soon. A rain's resembling tree roots extended from the wooden planks of the hull. Xiaoya shook the rain slightly, which was similar to riding a horse. If you shake your hand and shout, drive. The sense of immersion becomes stronger then. A very magical scene happened, and the ship, like a BMW, quickly rode through the wind and waves. Upon seeing this scene, Nami was completely stunned. Isn't it? He can also ride a boat. P.S. Is anyone looking at it? This theme. If there are any, make a squeak. Even throw a flower. Thank you. 006, adjusting buff, I bought a very sexy swimsuit. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Thank you for your patronage. Here is the navigation map you need. Please keep it, this beautiful lady. In a shop on Carrot Street in Teluodi town, with a sign of Gouda, Nami took the map and paid with a painful expression on her face. Karina, who witnessed the payment process on the side, slightly licked her tongue. 700,000 Bailey. It's too expensive, isn't it? This is just a package of broken drawings, probably the cost is less than 300 Bailey, isn't it? The front desk clerk smiled and put the money into the drawer, looking at Karina with a smile, explaining, this customer, actually this map is very unusual. It contains eight versions released in the past 100 years, a total of eight maps. The earliest 1434 version is a collectible antique. The salesperson called Nami, the beautiful lady, and called Karina, this customer. There is a slight difference in treatment. But considering that Nami paid for it Karina twitched from the corner of her eye and said, what's going on? Are you bundling sales and clearly clearing inventory on us? Yes, customer. Our Gouda map is a century-old store and we do have some inventory, the shop assistant nodded with a smile in frustration, and then took out a package of similar maps from the box. Customer, do you still need them? There are ten versions of these maps in this package, and... What a rundown shop! How could it last so long? Karina is so angry. Forget it, let's go. Xiaoya pulled Karina to sell and walked out of the store. In the pirate's worldview, war never subsides, some countries disappear, and the names of islands also change. Some islands are abandoned or freshwater is depleted, losing value for navigation, and publishing houses will no longer waste their written records. So the map needs to be updated almost every ten years. If it's a bit expensive, it's not wrong to buy all of it. If it weren't for the salesperson taking it out a step late, Xiaoya might have bought the one with ten versions. Get out of the store. The trio found a place and started flipping through the map to find information about Sixes. No. No. Nami flipped through it very quickly, and soon realized that there was no information about Sixes Island on the map in her hand, which made her a bit disappointed. On the other side, Karina threw away the map and said, is this map fake? It's a black shop. On the other hand, Xiaoya pulled out a moldy yellowed map, and a piece of mold was scraped off by the cover. And in the place where the mold was originally stained, there was a very obvious white color. It is marked with the word Sixus inside. Ah, this am I so lucky. I have found it, Nami, you can plan it. Xia Yayang raised the dust and handed the map to Nami. Hey! Version 1434. Karina cast a glance, her expression quite speechless. It's really an antique. Nami unfolded the map and began to calculate in her heart. We are in this position, following the speed of our small boat's advance and leveraging the acceleration of ocean currents, it will take at least ten days to reach the island of Sixus. 
let's go buy some supplies first. Karina nodded thoughtfully and said, I think we should go buy clothes first. I heard that the Victoria brand swimsuit is good, so I decided it was it. It's winter now. Karina. Cold. Xia Ye thinks it's better to buy things in summer, and it's also troublesome to carry useless things, after all, their boat is old and small. Yeah, discounts are only available in winter. Karina turned her elbow into Xia Ye's heart and said, Fortunately, you reminded me. Xia Ye. Dot. Nami could only play around and say, There's a warm current passing by near the island of Sixus. I think. You can swim. Look. If you buy it, you'll make a profit. While accompanying the two young girls on a shopping spree, Xia Ye suddenly flashed a line of small characters in front of her. My invisible buff hasn't expired yet surprisingly, another temporary buff was created. Golden experience buff. Remaining time. 39 days, 32 hours, 59 minutes, and 58 seconds golden experience. You can summon a golden tuning whip and gain tuning ability. During the tuning process, the riding side will gain a golden experience. The more stimulating your brain is, the stronger your understanding of the devil's fruit, and your development inspiration will explode. Xia Ye's eyebrows twitched, giving a fairly high evaluation of the explanation of the golden experience. He couldn't help but think of the fruit in the original work. The granddaughter of the crane, Peacock, is the trainer who ate the Superman whip fruit. She can even train a house, and the ability of the golden experience buff should be similar to this, except that the ability is a one. Sided development targeting the devil fruit. If we had found the natural system and burned fruits earlier this time, wouldn't it be possible to make perfect use of them? Thinking of this, Xia Ye felt excited. This golden experience is just right his gaze towards Karina and Nami was somewhat shaken. Who will accept the training well? At the same time. What excited Xia Ye even more was that he finally felt the effect of the lucky buff. The previous temporary buff has never existed simultaneously. Yes. Now he has a temporary invisible buff, although there is not much time left, it has not expired yet. At this moment, the invisible buff and the golden experience actually exist at the same time, which has never happened before. And this buff time is particularly long, there are 40 days. Previously, the longest time was only 7 days, 6 times longer. When Xia Ye bought the map earlier, she was not sure and thought it was just an accident. But now he can be certain that this is related to the lucky buff. The changes in Qi are so significant that even a fool can feel them. Nami is really my lucky star. When I think of the beach, swimsuits, tuning the golden whip Xia Ye felt that she should go to West Island earlier. Immediately shouted to the store, have you bought it yet? When he finishes speaking. I saw Karina and Nami with smiles on their faces, carrying big and small bags as they walked out of the Vimi store. When I arrived by Xia Ye's side, Karina tiptoed lightly and whispered in his ear, I. I bought a very sexy swimsuit. 007, every three days, when a woman looks at each other with new eyes. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. I bought a very sexy swimsuit. After picking for a long time, I finally picked a piece of cloth that was very rare. Hmm, hee hee. Faced with seductive teasing, Xia Ye responded with a flick of Karina's forehead. Bo duo. I don't feel like this can withstand scrutiny. Xia Ye pointed to Karina's little panda. Fool, I don't understand any charm at all. Humph, Kalina pouted and pulled Nami towards the harbor. Xia Ye and Karina are a combination that has been together for a long time. In the early days, both of them were relatively weak and didn't have much capital. In the winter, they had to hug each other tightly to avoid losing their body temperature. Plus, Xia Ye's fruit ability provides more opportunities for intimate skin contact. This led to a close relationship between the two, and Karina's thoughts were also open. 
she never mind being taken advantage of by Xiaoya. Anyway anyway, sooner or later during her walk, Karina threw something that looked like a medicine bottle with her backhand. Hurry up and use it. Stupid. What? Xiaoya took a look at the text on the bottle. Elegant men's hair removal exclusive Karina has long complained that the legs of Xiaoya are like two caterpillars, and the writing form is easy to itch the neck of the woman. No, it's just arranged quickly, time flashed by and arrived ten days later. A small sailboat is approaching in the waters near Sixus Island. Look, although the island is a bit deserted, there is really a golden beach. Looking at the nearby island, Karina looked excited. The wind is gentle. She immediately bent down and reached out to feel the temperature of the seawater. The seawater is indeed very warm. Nami, you got it all right. Kalina looked at Nami with praise in her eyes. Nami was praised and naturally felt happy in her heart. Ha ha ha, should we land on the island first or not? Mmm he 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 he. Let's go to the cabin to change clothes first. Kalina jumped out in a flash. Nami followed closely behind, but her neck turned red with shyness. Looking at the two people coming out one in front and one behind. Xiaoya's eyes suddenly flickered with light. It's obvious. He was amazed by the symmetrical figures of the two. Even Karina, who had seen it countless times, gave him a new impact. Every three days, a woman looks at each other with a new eye. Undoubtedly, the clothing design of Vini brand is full of sense, which can compensate for many developmental defects caused by age. In addition, Karina and Nami are already beautiful in appearance, and their temperament is immediately highlighted by the village. This money. It's worth spending. I won't be able to board the ship until I finish spending it in the future. You also go quickly. Karina threw over a pair of swimming trunks. After the change, Xiaoya leisurely said, let's go. If you want to swim, you should do it early. Maybe some of us will soon become dry ducks. A dry duck. By the way, what are we doing here on this island? Due to excessive trust, neither Karina or Nami asked Xia what she wanted to do when she came to West Island this time. There are no buildings here, all rocks, weeds, and bushes. How it looks, how desolate. Coming to an uninhabited island, I can't figure out what I can do. Xia Yadao said, we came here to search for a demonic fruit. The secret treasure of the sea. The two women were both surprised. Three figures have jumped off the ship and are walking barefoot on the soft beach. The soft touch under one's feet brings joy to the mood. At this moment, Karina and Nami are completely attracted by the devil fruit that Xiaoya talked about, as if they have forgotten about swimming. Although they are all wearing swimsuits at this moment. And at the same time, they are also very curious. Is there really a legendary demon fruit on this island? How did Xiaoya know? Xiaoya was already a capable person before she met Karina. So. Neither Nami nor Karina has ever seen the actual demon fruit. Finding a fruit the size of two fists on a deserted island is a very difficult task, and we need to be prepared to stay here for a long time. Xia Ye gave the two women a preventive shot in advance to prevent them from making noise in the future. So, what fruit is that? Karina asked. Xia Ye didn't rush to say that reality gave them some basic knowledge. The devil fruit can be divided into three categories. Superman, animal, and nature. The body of the Superman-type devil fruit eater has special abilities, such as my cavalry fruit, which has the ability to ride all things and can use these abilities to influence the mounted objects. After all, being ridden, Xiaoya's explanation deeply touched Karina and Nami. Nodding on both sides of Xiaoya, he said, hmm. Animal lineages can transform into animals, and the characteristics of animals will also appear on capable individuals. Animal lineages will greatly enhance the physical fitness and endurance of capable individuals. The natural system is recognized as the strongest type of demon fruit in this era, 
as it can control natural elements and transform the body into elemental form to avoid physical damage. The two women were fascinated by it, and their knowledge points really increased. They didn't expect Xiaoya to know so much. The trio took a few more steps. And what we're looking for now is. Just as Xiaoya was about to continue explaining, his body suddenly sank and interrupted his speech. Dingling lingling. The sound of metal, stepping on money. He sank his feet into the sand at the same moment. Wait to lower your head and take a look. Xia Yikai realized that under his feet was a decayed and trampled wooden box. As the wooden board shattered, the contents of the box also appeared. At this moment, there was a strange fruit with an orange flame pattern lying quietly on top of a pile of golden coins between Xiaoya's feet. They are seen again in the sky, flowing with a layer of golden radiance. Sparkling and shining. Xiaoya, the traveler, couldn't have known that this was the burning fruit she was looking for. What luck I just went to the island I didn't take a few steps just pick up the money and forget about it, cough. Xiaoya stood in the treasure chest as if nothing had happened, bowing calmly and picking up the roasted fruit from her feet. The fruit clit, holding the fruit, swayed in front of the beautiful eyes of the two little beauties. You see. What we're looking for is this natural roasted fruit. Karina and Nami saw that Xiaoya was about to fall, and they originally wanted to help. Upon hearing these words, I was instantly stunned and roared, what is it? This is exactly what you hid. 008, burn people, taste my enlightenment whip. You are listening at novel full dot audio. I didn't even know where Sixth is Island was before, how could it be that I hid it? Xiaoya is helpless. Karina and Nami gathered around Xiaoya, staring at the roasted fruit in Xiaoya's hand, looking amazed. This is the first time I have seen such a strange looking fruit. But it has to be said. This fruit looks very appetizing. Karina and Nami instinctively swallowed their saliva. Is this the legendary sea treasure devil fruit? Not bad, this is the demon fruit that can make people soar to the sky, or the extremely rare natural type of burning fruit. As long as you eat it, you can gain the power to control flames and transform into a burning person. In the surprised gaze of Karina and Nami, Xia yet decisively put away the roasted fruit. Eating the devil's fruit will gain power beyond nature, but at the same time, it will be abandoned by the sea and become a dry duck that cannot swim. So, let's enjoy the sunny beach these three days and let Karina eat it then. After all, Xiaoya got to know Kalina early on, and when she found the excellent demon fruit, she gave it to her first. Burning fruits is just right. When conditions permit in the future, it's better to find a devil fruit related to weather for Nami, so as not to waste her talent. Isn't it? The cost is too high. The swimsuit I just bought. Karina's face was full of disappointment. After three days, Karina held the roasted fruit in both hands and bit it with her mouth open. She is mentally prepared enough. The next second, Karina felt like she had eaten some dark food, and her face instantly turned red. Purple beautiful eyes must be turned white. Ugh. Swallow it, just take a bite. Xiaoya pinched Karina's chin with one hand and lifted it up, while the other hand ran down her throat. Gudong. Oh my. Oh my. After Karina swallowed the flesh, she quickly took a deep breath and looked uncertain with fear. This is not a fruit, it's like a stone in a cesspit. Ah, this is a cesspit. Is it that bad to eat? Nami showed a strange expression, pinching her chin with a puzzled expression. Metaphor, you know the metaphor. How about you eat the rest? Good sisters, it's better not to do it. Nami quickly shook her hand. Anyway, you'll know later. Karina quickly threw the remaining flesh aside, like a nimble cat scraping a pile of sand with its feet, half of the burnt fruit buried tightly. Then, Karina tilted her head to look at Xiaoya and said, I didn't feel anything. Where is my fire? Xiaoya didn't know, so she tried to ask, 
why don't you calm down and feel it? Boom! Just as Karina sank down to feel it, an orange flame accompanied by intense heat swept through her. Shocked, Xiaoya immediately picked up Nami and jumped ten meters away. At this moment, Karina was completely enveloped by the raging flames, forming an expanding fireball, and the air on the sand was twisted wildly due to the high temperature. Even the surrounding sand has shown signs of being burned and melted. Present in liquid glass form. Looking at the huge fireball in front of her, Nami's orange pupils kept contracting, and worry filled her heart. Karina, is she okay? As the flames gradually dissipated, Karina's figure gradually became clear. Nami finally felt relieved. Karina, congratulations on becoming a scorcher. Did you notice that? Ordinary people no longer pose any threat to you. That's it. As the words fell, Xiaoya punched through Karina's chest. After Xiaoya pulled out her fist, Nami was already scared to the side. Ah! Xiaoya's sudden punch scared Nami so much that she couldn't open her mouth. In her enlarged pupils, Karina's body was pierced with a large hole, and strangely, no blood flowed out. Instead, flames writhed wildly, as if sticking to the wound. Continuing. These flames collapsed towards Karina's body like quicksand, gradually filling up. At this moment, Karina's body not only showed no signs of damage, but also showed no signs of damage to her clothes. It seems that it's like performing a top-dot-level illusion in front of everyone. All of this has actually been elementalized. When Karina ate the roasted fruit, she already knew she could be elementalized. However, she was still very happy to hand over her first experience of elementalization to Xiaoya. Nami, wow! I'm invincible. This is the elemental transformation of a nature-based ability, which can avoid any physical damage. Just now, Xiaoya was just experimenting, don't worry, I am simply invincible. Karina made a proud expression at Nami. Nami was stunned and covered her mouth with a shocked expression. Is this the power of the secret treasure of the sea? It's unbelievable. Her worldview has been refreshed once again. I never expected that just eating a demonic fruit would be so powerful. Then, various complex emotions surged wildly in my heart. Watching this team grow stronger and stronger. Nami's long-lost confidence is now burning like a flame on Karina's body. And Xiaoya changed her tone and turned to Karina, saying, there are many ways to restrain elemental elements on the sea, and natural elements are not invincible. I'll tell you again when I have the chance, but... But now... Hee <laughs> hee. Karina, you can try this first. Just gained fruit ability, adaptation requires a process, but here at Xiaoya, he has a more perfect way of adaptation. At this moment, Xiaoya glanced at her golden experience, buff again. Golden experience. You can summon a golden training whip and gain the ability to train your mount. During the training process, one side of the mount will gain a golden experience. The more stimulating your brain is, the stronger your understanding of the devil's fruit, and the more inspiration you can develop. A golden whip appeared in Xiaoya's hand and danced towards Karina. This is the enlightenment whip. Every beat can increase your inspiration for developing fruits. But Karina ahead laughed. Mm, you know, I can incorporate elements. Karina made a gesture of willingness to be beaten and patted her round and curly body. Strike this. Strike this. Strike towards the right direction. I can burn it with just a little bit of burning ability. Stupid. You're provoking me. Pap. 009, 100 whips, 1000 whips, 10,000 whips. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Pop pop pop. The whip struck Karina's body, making a loud thud. Ah! This scene made Nami, who was on the side, look silly are you exerting so much force? That's too cruel. Are you punishing Karina? Just because of Karina's provocative language. 
Woo woo, we can't do this. Even if we sign a writing contract, even if Karina and I have the right to life and death in your hands, we are all good partners and cannot abuse the mounts. Nami quickly hugged Xiaoya and pleaded, Stop fighting. Please, stop fighting. At this moment, Karina suddenly burst into flames under her feet, exploding into development and soaring into the sky like a rocket igniting a flame. And the next second, Karina's figure disappeared and was replaced by a fiery cross shaped flame. Xiaoya looked up at Karina transforming into the flame cross. Surprised in my heart, is it, the golden experience will inspire mounts to unleash demonic fruit development inspiration. Has Karina already developed a skill? So fast. The effect is also too good. Can we draw awakening? Soon, under the witness of Xiaoya and Nami. The flame cross in the sky began to rotate, one after another flames burst out, and fell rapidly, more than ten, hundreds, thousands, dense, like a meteor with tail flame, and like a rainstorm, shot like bullets into the distant sea, instantly launched several explosions, and ignited a sea of fire. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Boom boom boom. Instantly, waves of rising mist erupted from the sea surface. Xiaoya was also a bit stunned by the scene how could it be like the Navy General Huang ape stroke of 8-foot Chiongoyu. Just sparkling fruit is a shining spot, burning fruit is a flame. Looking at it this way, AC's development in the original work is not very good either ah. In the sky, Karina, who had released her skills, transformed from a flame back into a human body, only to realize that she was at a height of several tens of meters. Just now, she had no idea when she jumped onto the filling. High-altitude fear made her frantically move her limbs and fall at lightning speed. Help me! Just as she was about to fall to the ground, she was caught by Princess Xia's embrace. Nami also ran over at this moment and said, Don't hit Karina again. She didn't mean to. We have something to say. And at this moment, Karina said softly, It hurts so much, it's so piercing and stimulating, and it's also very comfortable. Let's continue. Upon hearing this, Nami's mind was buzzing with confusion good, painful. Good prick, thrill. Good comfort and clothing. Such complex emotions. Isn't it? Being beaten can also lead to addiction, right? Karina explained, how to describe this feeling. Well, when this whip hits the body. It's like hitting and exploding all the cells inside the body, making each cell exceptionally active. They spray happiness from countless pores like a volcanic eruption. Yes, what sprays out is happy magma. What? Nami was once again confused. Although Karina's description is already very appropriate, Nami still has some reaction. On the other side, Xiaoya didn't expect that Karina would feel this way. However, it can indeed be called a golden experience, in fact, this whip has a regulating and teaching effect. When whipped, it shouldn't be that kind of physical pain, nor will it hurt. It will only stimulate Karina's cellular activity inside her body, making her inspired. The move she just used can be understood as an instant burst of inspiration. The fruit ability needs to be developed, which is the specific role of regulation and education. Nami turned her head to look at Karina, making sure there were no scars before feeling relieved. And Karina Xiang Hanlinli seemed to have walked through the gates of hell, but her expression did seem like she was enjoying it. Nami knew she had misunderstood and wished she could find a crack in the ground to crawl in. So it's like this. Ha ha. Ha ha. You guys keep going. Ha ha. Xiaoya said again, by the way, can you use that move again? Karina shook her head and said, that inspiration flashed by in a flash, but a little memory stayed. I didn't learn, what should I do now? Maybe I'm too stupid. Edison invented the electric light after countless experiments, and the same goes for fruit development. It requires repeated experiments to increase proficiency, fully shape skills, and release them in the future. Practice makes perfect. Xiaoya immediately said, 
I think you should get a few more whips. A few whips won't do, just a hundred whips, a thousand whips. 010, Syaya is the medicine that treats you. Let's go. You are listening at novelfull.audio. 10,000 lashes, how terrifying. Is the cost of developing devil's fruit so high? I still don't want to eat devil's fruit in the future. Nami was so scared that she quickly took a step back, afraid that Syaya would change her target to herself. Of course. Nami is also curious and waiting for Karina's answer. She really doesn't believe that getting beaten will bring pleasure. Play more, play this part. This position is the most sensitive, sensitive, and enjoyable. MMM he 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 he. Kalina pondered, her purple eyes overflowing with anticipation. Nami. Dot. Considering that during the golden experience, Karina's thoughts may fly aimlessly, and her potential may even explode. In order to ensure Karina's personal safety, Syaya decided to drive on. Accept the training. Karina. Pop pop pop. Ah ah ah. Zizi zizi. Soon, whips, screams, and the sound of flames burning echoed throughout the island of Sixes. The entire island seems to be trembling at this moment. And from time to time, there are also voices of male and female conversations coming out. I feel right this time. You should shout out the name of the move to deepen your memory. Naming it. The flames are like a meteor shower. So. So this move is called Flying Fire Meteor. Dot. Then shout out loud. Ah Flying Fire Meteor. Surrounded by flames exploding, Nami hid behind the reef, trembling as she listened to various noises. After 27 days, this situation finally subsided. At this time, the island of Sixus was subjected to various forms of flame attacks. The powerful impact shattered the sand, the terrifying high temperature melted the rocks, and the ground on the island turned into scorched earth, completely different from when the trio landed on the island. As the saying goes on the sea, natural systems can indeed change the environment of islands. Fei Hua Meteor Heo Hukyu, Hao Hua Extinguished, Feng Huanyan, Huaduan Waterfall On the scorching walls of the city, the remnants of the sun's prison clothes, the pillars of explosive flames. Flame Gatling, Fire Fist, Big Flame Ring, Emperor Yen In less than a month Karina's control over burning fruits has become impeccable, with various moves at her fingertips. Moreover, Xia Yit did not provide guidance on the moves, as full-screen Karina's inspiration was created. At most, some names were given based on the characteristics of the moves. Done. When Xia Yit got out of her writing form, Karina showed an expression of still wanting. You should also let Nami try. Really, I feel like my life has been completed, and I have experienced all kinds of wonderful experiences. Even if I die now, there seems to be no regrets. But after a moment of thought, Karina felt something was wrong again. Immediately hugging Xiaoya's arm, he said, MMM, but I really can't bear to leave you. I will never leave you, Xiaoya idiot. No. Is it really that enjoyable? Nami turned into a fool, her throat throbbing uncontrollably. Karina's statement was a bit tempting to her. Isn't living in this world for the sake of happiness? In Nami's world of audience, happiness is something that money cannot buy. Xia Yik glanced at the tuning buff and only had three minutes left. He touched his nose as if lost in thought. However, the training is only aimed at developing devil fruit, and Nami doesn't have devil fruit yet. You're not right. Karina immediately retorted, Nami really doesn't have any demonic fruit, but she's human. She has emotions, and all her senses are there. She can taste that taste, I'm sure. Nami. Come and give it a try. Nami instinctively retreated and shook her hands in a panic to refuse, no, 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 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, Karina immediately interrupted and approached with a little seriousness, saying, you, in order to save the village of Kekiaxi, have been wandering alone for so long, living every day in oppression. Your emotions need to be completely released. Otherwise, you will suffer from depression. We only carry happy people on board. Siaya is now the cure for you. Upon hearing Karina say so, Nami finally nodded and agreed, Siaya, I'll trouble you. A few minutes later, Nami's screams slowly stopped. The golden whip in Siaya's hand turned into starlight dots and disappeared into this world. Some regrets. If only this buff were permanent however. Fortunately, Nami has given a permanent lucky buff, and I believe it can be refreshed again in the future. Nami, we can now set off to Kekiaxi village to end the rule of the dragon pirates. Don't worry about any accidents, because just letting Karina take action is more than enough. Xia Ya waved. Well, I can't wait anymore. Karina clenched her fist and a burst of orange flames erupted. Let's go now. If it had been in the past, Nami would have been thrilled to hear that she was going to deal with the dragon pirates. I even want to teleport over and explode the dragon's fish head. But at this moment Nami's brain was completely blank, her thoughts completely empty. She just collapsed on the beach, struggling for a long time before slowly lifting her eyelids. It took a long time to make a sticky sound. Please let me take a break. I, I'll have to wait a little longer. Until the sun is about to set on the horizon. A small boat only left the island of Sixus with a slight shake. 